What do you think you're doing, you mummy? Every time I see you these days, you look like you're about to blow a gasket. What's wrong? Keanu, he, he knows about me and Emma. He's been trying to blackmail me to get access to see Peggy. You know, if Kat finds out about this the day before the wedding... Right, you take Albridge's axe, yeah? Ask him to babysit. Then keep your distance for a bit. I'll handle Keanu. Same with Uncle Phil. When we won't be long. Can't I go anywhere without that old alley cat turning up? Um, sorry, sorry, cat. Can I have a word? Yeah. Cheers. This is about Peggy and Louise. No, no, it's, uh, it's Phil. He's been, uh... Night before your wedding. Let me buy you a drink. What's that arsenic? Sharon, give us a minute, will you? He's got to be in his bonnet about Peggy. All right. I'd escape if I were you. Yeah. I'll mm -hmm. see you later. You have no idea what you just got in the middle of. So you weren't about to tell Kat all about Phil and Emma? You know. <laughs> you and him really are as thick as thieves, ain't you? Kat doesn't deserve to have her life ruined because of Phil's mistake. Are you kidding? I'll be doing her a favour. Just drop it, Keanu. This isn't the way to get what you want. You do this and Phil will make sure you never see Peggy again. Yeah, well, he's not going to let me see her anyway. Then think about how much worse it's going to be if you couldn't see Abby either. You wouldn't. I never stood a chance, did I, Sharon, with you? It always comes back to him. So we're agreed. Can I see Albie in the morning? Yes, after the wedding, if you behave yourself. 